What's going on guys? Back with episode three of the journey to this short film. Sorry about the lighting. I really don't feel like scooting eight feet over there to uh, turn on the lights. Plus, I mean, this, this is just way vibe here. So we're gonna keep the intro short because I know some people are on oh, the lighting. Uh, honestly, I don't care. This is my channel. This is how we're gonna do this. We might do every video like this because we can. Anyways, let's get right to it. In today's video, mini game booth, like the little wooden booth that like a mini game would be played in at a carnival. It was driving me nuts. It just looked so bland and boring. I wanted to put some of those that are like banners with the little flags, little triangle flags on the booth like this. But one problem I was having is that wind effects were going crazy on it. It just didn't look good. It was too, too windy. So a quick fix I had to do was to add middle vertices to the vertex group. So instead of one long arch of the banner, it became two little arches, as you guys can see. We basically did, um, you know, like Pimp My Ride, or like, what was that show? Like the Home Improvement Show. And the renovation starts right now. Hey, buddy. We were basically the Home Improvement Show for this booth. A quick upgrade that I noticed that I could make to this booth was to add a sign. All of these booths have some sort of attractable feature to the pass for buyers. If you haven't figured it out yet, this mini game is going to be like the ones where you have to shoot the little ducks swimming. It's kind of messed up, but <laughs> why did I even think about this? This is messed up. Anyways. So we're going to put one of those little ducky signs all the way at the top and boom already an upgrade now for the little duckies on the shelves they can't just be like floating there or just like on a stick they gotta be swimming on some little waves i pulled in a plane and i made this little wave kind of shape and then to upgrade it even more i texture painted it a little bit and added some white caps and this looked incredible i can't even lie besides the fact that it looks like a duck is on an ocean you know what maybe this alien duck is on an ocean okay but we got some white caps going and this came out way better than I thought it was gonna look. I also decided to give the booth a little bit of a gradient look, just to spice it up a little bit. I just didn't want it one solid color. If you look at our mini game booth compared to the little booth next to it, it's night and day which one looks better. Next up, I was faced with a little bit of a challenge or I guess like thought of how to figure part of the plot out, I guess. I was trying to figure out how Kevin is going to receive the ducky. Usually in these like carnival tent mini game things, it's usually like just a bunch of stuffed animals and like toys and stuff all just lined up against the walls i guess you could say this is going to be kind of close to receiving like the goldfish like we do as humans which is kind of weird but we're not going to go on that tangent so anyways it is a little duck so i figured an egg was the most fitting so i wanted to come up with a few different egg looks and go ahead and put them in the back as like the rewards and if you recall from one of our previous videos i believe it was the second one i showed a sketch where our little dude is going to be hatching out of the egg so that is going to be one of our main scenes so the eggs were pretty much one of the final pieces to put together in the booth there was a little bit more we did put some more waves on the outside which just totally brought everything together and i think pretty much the last thing i need to make for this mini game booth is a character that is going to be like pretty much like running the show pretty much you know the per there's always like a person that runs the mini game so i need one of those but we're not going to do that till way later at this point i was really happy with how everything was coming together one little quick touch that i did was i i, I ended up switching the colors up a little bit on all the eggs in the background just to give a little bit of a different look. Maybe there's some purple versions of our little duck guy or something, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, after I was pretty happy with how I was looking, I did one quick little test render just to get a little taste on how it was looking. And I'm very content with it so far. One small detail I figured I should add is there's gonna be people throwing tennis balls or something at these ducks. So I figured there'd be markings on the back like where people miss. So I went back into texture paint mode, picked a black color and just very faintly put a bunch of like ball markings where people would hit. A small detail, but I think it does add some character into our scene. Pretty much for the rest of this video, I just worked on upgrading other small things around our carnival. I tried making another big circus tent, a little bit different but pretty much following the same steps as the other two smaller tents that we already have there in the blue and white. But for whatever reason, I legit could not get it to work like I ha how I had the other ones working. So I just kind of put it to the side for now and duplicated another one of the smaller tents and just played with the dimensions on it. 
And I mean, that honestly works the same. I changed up, I added some vertices to it to give it like another level. That was pretty much it for these couple of days. I've been super busy working on some other stuff outside of this project. I also worked on some more inflatables. I figured just having a bunch of these inflatables around, maybe not a bunch, but having a few of these inflatable inflatables around as like background stuff would just be kind of fun. So I made a couple more of those. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe. Be on the lookout for more of these videos. We're going to be keeping track of this entire journey to see how this all plays out. Let me know if you guys have any feedback, comments. Always appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.